curtain up, I'm on. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and thank you all being here. Uh, I, I, I applaud you. Uh, curtain up, I'm on. Oh, all the world's a stage, and every man and woman merely players. We have our exits and our entrances, and one person in their time plays many parts. Those parts are all going to have a different chemistry. They're all going to have a different physiology. That's what we're going to be talking about today. And Sean Acor, you've been seeing things about Sean Acor. Sean Acor says, happiness converts and then success follows. What I'm going to be saying, I'm going to be picking up a little bit on that message, but does happiness come before health or does health come be after or before happiness? Which comes first? I'm going to say today that happiness comes first. In all the years that I've been in medicine, it's been, become very obvious to me that happy people are healthier people. I've asked this question over and over again. I'd ask each and every one of you, I ask all my physician colleagues, are happy people healthier people? And everyone says yes. And this all started for me, oh, maybe 40 years ago. I had one of my patients who was coming in. She was one of the, of the, of the great actresses of our, of our city. And incidentally, we're the second center for the performing arts here in Minnesota. We're the North Star State. We're the theater of season state. We're the, the, we're the state that's always one, two, or three in happiness, one, two, or three in good health, one, two, or three in the quality of our, our health profession. Uh, we're, we're high up there in all of these things that should make us and do make us happy. But this actress was in a part that she came in to see me often, and she was a wreck. She, she came in and she says, oh, you know, Dale, she, she's not only a friend, but she was, she was a patient. She said, I'm, I'm in this part, and I'm so good in this part, but this is a wicked, this is an angry, this is a hateful, this is, this is a, a very unhappy part. But I'm so good in this part. <laughs> Everybody knows that they feel the same feeling that I feel when I'm up here on stage. I'm so good at this part. But all of these aches and pains that I've had, and she had everything, there was something wrong with the head, the, sh the shoulder, the knee, the back, the stomach, the lungs. And I, she saw all of my colleagues. She wasn't getting any better. And one day she came in and she says, I know it's my part. I have to get out of this part, she said. And so she did get out of the part. And do you think she got better? Yes. Her aches and pains went away. And so she said, Adele, you, we, you doctors aren't teaching people how to act and how to get into happiness enough. Here we are, we're the second center for the performing arts, and, and we're one of the healthiest places in the country. Why isn't Minnesota, of all places, the place where we have the theater arts thinking medically and the medical arts thinking dramatically. <laughs> Why don't you take drama from the theater, bring it into the healthcare system, and try to get everybody acting happy and acting well? <laughs> and I says, oh, you know, you, you have to tell me more about this, Mary. And she says, well, I'll, I'll give you a little history lesson. And she took out this little bell. And she said, Dale, does the name Pavlov ring a bell? <laughs> does the name Pavlov ring a bell? We all know about that. We know of that study from grade school on, don't we? We know that Pavlov brought these little dogs into the lab in 1890s. He was feeding these, little, uh, these dogs. They were in little yellow bowls feeding the dogs. And then he, after what, he was studying the digestion, the, the, why the saliva was running and the gastric juices were juicing. He was studying that. But then he thought, well, why don't I at the same time ring a bell when they're eating? 
And then you know what happened. He brought these same dogs in after they had done that for three or four months. The dogs were obviously in the physiology of digestion. They were eating. He took the bowls away. He, uh, the dogs were sent back to the camp, uh, uh, kennels. The dogs came out again. They put the bowls down this time, and, and the dogs circled the bowls. There was nothing in there to eat, but the bowls were there. And so he, they started having gastric juices juicing, and, and they were in the physiology of just the yellow bowls. But then he said, I wonder if a bell would do it. And then he rang the bell and took them out, and then he brought them back in again, and, and he just brought them into the room, and he rang the bell, and what happened to the dogs? Gastric juices were juicing, saliva was flowing. These dogs were in the physiology of digestion. And in 1904, Pavlov, with a bell, won the first no bell prize. <laughs> so that's the story that my actress friends give you. But she said, that's not the best of the story. The best of the story over in Moscow was another leader on the stage. Now, Pavlov's laboratory was his stage to greatness, but another person in Moscow by the name of Konstantin Stanislavsky, the greatest, the greatest actor that's ever been in Moscow, he ran the Moscow Arts Theater. He taught uh, the theater techniques. He, he said, if Pavlov can do those dirty tricks on dogs, <laughs> why can't I do that with actors? <laughs> Why can't I get actors into the chemistry of the part just by colors or aromas or, or anything we can do to, to get them in to the, into that chemistry? So this was Konstantin Stanislavsky, method acting. And so when my patient Mary said, well, you know, this, I, I'm out of this part now, but I, you know, I just, I, I'm in the upper part now. I just love this part. We love the upper parts. I don't get sick in the upper parts. Uh, and, and, and she said, why aren't you teaching this to, to everybody? And so I said, well, I don't know. Where do I start? Well, she started with color. I mean, Ted, if you just say a word, Ted. <laughs> And red. <laughs> there are certain things that you just put a smile on the face, and does that change your chemistry? And so uh, she said, I'd say the best way to start out is why don't you just start teaching people oh, maybe how to laugh? <laughs> Incidentally, I'm doing pretty good as an 80-year-old guy. I missed my nap today, and I still feel awake <laughs> but, be, because I knew I was going to be with people like you. And, and so uh, she said, I'm going to tell you what to do. Wear a little, little red, eat certain things. Uh, there's happy foods, all things. But she says the easiest thing that we actors know, we carry our own laugh track with us because is laughter contagious? Of course. Uh, she said, uh, here's a simple little trick. If I'm on stage and I say a line that's just kind of marginally funny, I have to get the audience to laugh at it. And so I have my own little laugh trick. And she said, it's just, <laughs> it's kind of like Pavlov. <laughs> so you just, uh, it's, one, it's, it's three parts. It's one, ha, two, ha, ha, three, ha, ha, ha. That's it. And since she said, you need to put those all together really fast. Ha, 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 ha. So you say something just marginally funny, and, and, it'll, and, then you, and then you just laugh. You go, ha, 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 ha. And where better to try this? Right here. This is our TED laboratory right here. And so right here, stay with me on this now, because you're going to feel the chemistry. See what happens. On, on one, it's just one, ha, two, two, ha, ha, three, ha, ha, ha. Are you ready now? One. Ha, two, ha, three, ha, ha. Now, now that's good. You're getting this. We're going to try that one more time. One, ha, 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 ha. And then we're going to put it all together on three. So on the count of three, you'll just get those three and then just get into it. Stamp your feet, circle around, <laughs> high five your neighbors, put a big smile on your face. But are you ready? Yeah, sure, you betcha you're saying that's what they say there in Minnesota. <laughs> 
So on the count of three, one, two, three, ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 you're great. I, I can't believe he's a doctor. I heard some. <laughs> but now, is the chemistry that you're playing right with right now that you have, is it real? Wow. We took you from one chemistry to another chemistry just with that simple little trick. And it's real. Is it catching? Did you feel the chemistry of your neighbors? Was there a chemistry of this room? Oh, my gosh, yes. Do you think it's catching? Yes, I think it's catching. Do you think we could spread it? Yes, I think we could spread it. Do you think from Minnesota we could get our act together and we could send across the St. Croix River Valley, down the Mississippi River Valley, out of Minnesota, to the rest of our nation, to the rest of the world. Do you suppose we could get our people acting well, acting happy? Ah, a Minnesota happy-demic <laughs> could start here. And you are displaying that it's so easy to do. We can just say, Ted. We can say, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> say, you're looking good. And I'm feeling good. And I'm feeling happy. And I'm going to be good medicine, not only for myself, but I'm going to also prescribe it and share it with you. There's, there's no copay to this. Our chemistry, our, our pharmacy is always open. Our inner pharmacy, the pharmacy that never closes, is open. 24 hours a day. And all we have to do is know how to get in, which you now know. And we could tell you so many more method acting techniques. Just the posture, the few steps back, and how to look a little more youthful. And especially true for those of you who are my age. Uh, uh, and uh, I'm, I'm probably up there and into that welderly time. I don't like to say I'm elderly. I like to knock the L out of elderly and say welderly. So let's go on and do that. Let's show the world that here in Minnesota, we can send a happy demic and spread it. And everybody will be in better health. And will we save money? Oh, think of the money we'll save if we get people happier and healthier. So on the three again, let's send the message. One, two, three, ha, 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 and one, two, three, ha, 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 